Craig, the late game on Saturday sees Croatia taking on Nigeria in what some are calling the group of death, a group that also includes Argentina and Iceland. It's a very strong group. Uh, I don't like the group of death so much, but when you do look at it with Argentina and Messi and Iceland, really the surprise package, a country of only 330,000 some people qualifying for this World Cup and having a good run a couple years ago in the Euro as well. And then Nigeria and Croatia with high expectations. So everybody, fans and players for all these countries, are expecting their countries to get out of the group. Now, Croatia has the experience, Nigeria the youth. So how do you see this one playing out? Well, with the Nigerian side, they're a little bit of an unknown. You never know what you're going to get from them. But what they usually are is a lot of fun to watch. They're extremely quick. They're powerful. They're strong. They have an average age of just under 26 years of age, which is the youngest in the World Cup this, uh, this time around against the Croatia. Side. Talk about expectations. You have Luka Modric in midfield, the Real Madrid player who just came off the Champions League win. Terrific group of players. They developed some of the very best players in the world. And those players will know that this is an important game. Even when you look at the other games with Argentina, Iceland next for Croatia, this game against Nigeria, the first one, will set the tone for them and probably be the uh, yardstick of whether they get, get out of the group or not. Well, even if we don't know what's going to happen, if Friday's any indication, Saturday will be a fun ride.